Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is from the South. This recipe is a famous dish that people like in the South, and that is black eyed peas and cornbread. Yes, indeed. I'm going to do you a version of black eyed peas and cornbread without the ham hocks and without the pork. People who love black eyed peas don't eat them because they put too much pork in there. So what we're going to show you is how I do my black eyed peas with smoked turkey tails. First of all, this is what I want you to do is boil your turkey tails just like this. Boil your turkey tails so they get real tender. Pull the water all the way up to here and boil them all the way down to there and let the turkey tails be very tender. So I'm going to take this out like this and I'm going to put them on this cutting board and then I'm going to pull the rest of the substance inside the pot like this. That's the substance right there. So what I'm going to do is take the turkey tails and cut them like this. Cut the turkey tails in pieces and let this boil. See how thick that is? That's what you want. Now, to get to, uh, to achieve this, you need to boil your turkey tails down with a little canola oil or uh, either some oil that you fried chicken in. I tell you, save those uh, tidbits because that really helps. Boil your uh, turkey tails down to almost down till they get tender like this. When they get tender like this, you can cut them. You're going to put them back into the pot. So this is going to be the substitute for bacon and the substitute for anything that you want, like pork taste. So these uh, turkey tails smell just like ham. Just like ham. So we're going to add this into the pot. Now, in the South, we use a lot of smoked meat so don't be afraid to use the smoked meat because it really works and it really helps to make your food taste very seasoned so what we're doing is adding this to the pot get this out the way so you can see what I'm doing to this pot so we're going to add this to the pot this is a pot right here let's see if I can move it over let's do it with this cutting board so I'm going to move the cutting board off the, off the counter. Put it over here. And it's going to show you how this look. Let's see. Move it over here. Let's move this over like that. That's the pot right there. So you can see what I've done. Now these are the black eyed peas. These black eyed peas you can get these black eyed peas. Let's see if I can turn this way so you can see it. These black eyed peas, you can get these black eyed peas frozen. I'd rather use the frozen black eyed peas because you do not have to soak them. All you have to do is just pull them in this bra like this. They're already cleaned and everything. So you don't have to worry about trying to clean the black eyed peas or soak them or anything like that. So this is. Thing, one thing the black eyed peas I'm going to do too because we like to eat them during the day or whatever you know so we're going to put two bags in here so that's what we're going to do and as you see that the black eyed peas is already clean and you see the meat that's in there so this is going to cook about maybe I'm going to say about 30 40 minutes because they already froze and they already um, done. So we're going to put another pan of water in there, cover them up like that. And see the broth? You see the broth in there? See how the broth is brothy? That's what you want. And you want about that much water. You don't want a lot of water in these. You want about that much water. Okay, what we're going to do now is add celery and bell pepper. and uh, Not bell pepper, but celery and onion. Now you can put bell pepper in there if you like it. But I don't put bell pepper in mine. But if you like bell pepper, you can do that. Then we're going to add some salt. 
just like that and then we'll add some black pepper just like that and that's all we do to this right here until they get cooked down the black eyed peas will take long and you see that we have the season in there and we have the turkey tails in there and hey you got yourself a pop right there of black eyed peas we're gonna let them cook for a second or two and then i'm going to and I will definitely come back and tell you what I was going to add to this. I was going to add a little hickory smoke. And somehow I put my hickory smoke up. And I'm going to show you in just a few minutes how to put the hickory on. So what we're going to do now is do the cornbread. So I'm going to move this pot over to the side see that's a little hot move this pot over to the side let's see how we're going to do this so we can start on the cornbread okay we got this over here to the side we'll put the top on and we let them continue cooking so what we're going to do now is do the cornbread Black eyed peas and cornbread. That is what we're going to do right here. Black eyed peas and cornbread. I'm dropping everything. And I'm going to have to get another container. I'm going to put a spoon. Okay, we're going to put this in the middle so you can see it. Move this all out the way. We don't do this no more. Oh, I smell my beans. My black eyed peas are cooking. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what we're going to do is, um, give a measuring cup, and in the measuring cup, I like to put a half a cup of self-rising flour, that's what we're going to do, put a half a cup of self-rising flour, that would be right there, to make a good cornbread now. Okay, we're going to need to take the oil out because it's time to take the oil out. The pan. See, we'll take it because I got this in the oven. It's heating up, so we need to take this out. That's the pan with the oil, and you always heat the pan up. Okay, that's a half a cup of flour and self rising flour. And you get a half a cup of cornmeal. So what I do, I just pour it all the way up to the top like that with the half a cup of cornmeal. I go all the way up to the top with that, the cornmeal of the measuring cup like that. And I use Angel Mama cornbread mix. I love Angel Mama, I love Martha White, I love all of them, I love it. So, this is the cornbread, okay? And then you use a good cornmeal and a good flour if you want good cornbread, okay? And I use baking powder. I just get about a teaspoon like that of baking powder and add to the top. And then I put this together in the bowl like that. And then I stir it like this, blend it together, like this, blend it all together, make sure it's all blended, let's make a good cornbread y'all, and then what I do is, get a one bean egg, one bean egg goes in here just like this, and then I get buttermilk. I like buttermilk in my cornbread and we just do it like this, the buttermilk. Buttermilk is kind of frozen because I freeze my buttermilk because you don't use buttermilk every day so I freeze my buttermilk to make sure that I, when I need it I have it. And I always buy the buttermilk that's 100%. I don't like no one half, no this, not that. I hate that. I like the whole buttermilk and that's what I like. 
So you just add it to, like this to get mush. Do it just like this. Take a while. Don't be scared. Just go ahead and keep on working it until it gets to the sister that you want. Now see how it get like that? That's what you want. Look at that. You want it just like this. This is how you make some good old buttermilk cornbread. A little bit more milk in it. So you freeze your buttermilk because the buttermilk will go bad quick in your refrigerator. So we got it like this. Maybe just a little bit. I think that's enough. We'll see. And then we got that little frozen there. Out. We'll throw that down, get that out of there like that. And we're going to have to wash and them anyway because we have to get the rest of the ingredients. And what I use is mayonnaise. I put mayonnaise in my cornbread. Put about three, maybe three tablespoons. Stir that up like that. I love mayonnaise. It makes it more moist, y'all. Make it more moist, and you want moist cornbread. So you don't want no cornbread that's dry. Now you can add sugar to this if you want to make it sweet. Well, I'm not gonna add any sugar. Come so add some oil. And the oil will help it from being dry. Stir it up like that. Get it all blended. Let's see how that. And that's an easy cornbread. If somebody said, I can't make no cornbread, baby, I don't get you the recipe. And look how that is. Look how that looks. If you can't do that, I mean, you have to go back and wind it up and look at it again. <laughs> and then you know how to do this cornbread. Make sure that the oil is all incorporated. When you got one cup of cornmeal that's self rising, you got one cup. A self rising flour and you got a teaspoon a half a little teaspoon of baking powder and you add the, your buttermilk until it get kind of smooth then you can even add a stick of butter to this if you want you get this all blended and you get about three tablespoons of mayonnaise and you get about one fourth cup of oil and add to this like that look how smooth that is you cannot say you cannot make no cornbread. I done showed you how. Okay, now what we're going to do is get our um, hot oil. This is hot oil. This is oil that's in a pan. It's already in the pan, my cake pan. And we're going to add this to it, just like this. It's already hot. We're going to add this to the pan. And this is what you want to do. That is just right in everything. Okay, we're going to put this in the oven and let it bake on 400 for about 20 minutes till it's golden brown. This is Sandra. I want to show you how to do black eyed peas and cornbread. We'll be back and let you see what's going on. This is Sandra. Be right back. Alright, now this is what the black eyed peas looking like. So we're going to add some hickory smoke. Just a little hickory smoke to give it a little hickory taste. This is just regular hickory smoke and we don't need that much. We just need just a little and then we're going to add some garlic. Just a little garlic in there just like that. We need some more black pepper. You can make these spicy. I put some peppuccino in there like I'm going to do. But you don't have to do that. But I do. So I put a little peppuccino in mine to give a little heat to them. And then I add some more pepper. Some more salt. I need some more salt in these. Let's see what I do with my salt. I need a little bit more salt. I know y'all get on me by using my salt so much in a, in a container. But I'm used to cooking like this. And I wash it off so much it looks faded. I'm going to buy me another container to try to put my salt in. But this is what we're going to do. Now we're going to cook it down low like this. We don't want them to cook real, real fast. 
you want to cook real low. Now, if you got any more, um, any more uh, seasons that you want to put them, you can put them at this point. You can put anything else that you want. But as you cook them, you know, you're going to cook, cook some to the side and mash them to the side. And I'll tell you when to do that. You just mash a little to the side to give them a creamy gravy. Right now, everything is fine. Let's taste this. Everything is fine. Everything is perfect. I'm going to put the top back on and let them cook. We'll be back and let you see the finished product. This is Sandra. I'll be right back. All right, we're back with our black eyed peas and cornbread. And our black eyed peas, we added some okra, which a lot of people in the South like okra and their black eyed peas. But I put the sliced okra. I don't like the, uh, the well, I like the uh, whole okra, but I like the sliced okra as well. Now, when you get this sauce, like this little gravy right here, when your peas are cooking, just smash them to the side of the pot as you go. And it makes that broth thicker. Just smash them to the side. Now, you can taste this as it cooks and see if you need any more uh, hickory smoke liquid, more onion, more garlic. I'm more seasoned. So that's what you do with these black eyed peas. These black eyed peas do not have any pork in them, but they turn out perfect. You can add more uh, smoked meat, like smoked turkey necks or small smoked turkey tails. Okay, we're going to plate this up. Let's see how it looks. Here's our cornbread right here. Our cornbread came out real, real good. That is two cups. Then that's one cup of self rising cornmeal and one cup of self rising flour and a teaspoon and a half, a half a teaspoon of baking soda and your buttermilk and your mayonnaise and I showed you how. But I made a mistake of saying a half a cup of cornmeal and a half a cup of flour. I mean a half a cup of self rising flour. I mean I mean a whole cup of self rising flour and a whole cup of Self rotten the cornmeal and then the little tap of the baking soda. Okay, we're gonna cut this and serve this black. Well, first, we'll get our black eyed peas. This is how I do mine. I get the black eyed peas like this. Little okra in there. Make sure it has a little gravy in there, like, and some peas. Look at that. That's how I do mine. And then I add a little onion on top like that a little onion and you can put anything you want on top of yours but I just put a little onion this is the southern way and then we'll cut this cornbread like a cake big old piece of cornbread let's see if I cut it in half I think I did like a big old piece of cake I don't know why I don't use my little um, pie slices. Oh, turn it over. Look at that. It's ready to get enough cornbread. And that's where it's supposed to look. The black eyed peas and cornbread. Look at the cornbread. And look at the black eyed peas. And look at this gravy. We put a little bit more gravy on top of that cornbread like that, y'all. That's how we do it. And <laughs> that's how we do it. This is uh, Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating. Showed you one of the old southern uh, classic. It's black eyed peas and cornbread. Put a little okra on it, put a little onion on it, and hey, you got your meal. This is Sandra. I want to say happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel.